first thing first thank you for gopowersports.com so they provide this kit this is the part number KD KDLA kit a-36 that comes with all that you need to to make this happen to make the change to the live axle kit also thank you for our friends cam cars and cameras those are the one who make you know the video on this kit so I learn about it so yeah Let's try it what the hell not so before to cut or do anything that you will regret so I kind of mimic where the component are gonna land after I cut start welding so I more or less prepare the layout of how it's gonna be so that is very the first step that you need to do and then you can start cutting and assembling the entire thing so that should be the, your first step that I removed the old location of the wheels now we're gonna put the new set of tires As we have a better and clear idea where we're gonna put the brackets so we can align them according to the driver chassis and then we can start welding this babies so we can start assembling the entire thing This is a functional part of the chassis. Later on, we will need to reinforce this with some flat bars. But it will work. Yeah.
remember to devour those nasty cuts. Before start marking or doing anything, uh, we will need to remove the paint. So we prepare the surface to weld it. So we with the grinder. It's always important when you have parts or heat or your welding your tank should be empty no fuel or any flammable liquid gases around okay safety first also if you don't have a rain that you can cut using a primer with a cutting cutting a disc and you can remove the pain into a grinding cone as well but it's gonna take more time it's just a matter of what tools you have available
so a little trick here that I'm using to align this bracket is use magnets to have it in place so I can start that welding and then I remove the magnets and then I complete the weld. bracket to the other bracket always use the level make sure that is correct position is level as well And then same process that and then well. should go now we're gonna set up the brake caliper All right. so with that put it in a manner that it will not interfere you have enough clearance so it can roll and it will not uh, bother you so later on we're gonna take care of how we're gonna do the linkage the, to make it the, the caliper work so let's work on that now so taking back the project the brake bracket I'm gonna weld it here a little bit right where it will not interfere with the chaff or the sprocket or the wheel and then I'm gonna want the bracket and increase the support with some uh, metal part that I have here and then we're gonna make the linkage. So we already tagged the piece. Now we're gonna proceed to with it in place and leave the uh, 
last question. No, it's a matter of where the ears we should be good to go. an update on the braking mechanism so I will a bracket here the rod also here a piece of tube with a tube as a guide then I welded to this bracket so it goes all the way to back of the engine so I have this temporary bracket here just to know the length 
so I can make a, a real bracket and this just to use as a guide to know where, where it works so when you apply the brake you move forward and actuate the, the caliper and so I up upgraded the header and the intake let's see how this thing goes
just a, an update here on the car, how it goes. Uh, I'm waiting on the new clutch because this is uh, smaller, a 35 chain, and the new one is 420. So it must robust, some more so bigger, stronger. So if I leave this smaller one clutch is gonna start jumping and we don't want that so I already ordered a new clutch it's gonna it's gonna start jumping like that so when there is power you know stress put into the change when it moves so you also can see the difference between the two sprockets massive difference so let's see how it goes so let's see how it turns out into Video number two, where it's gonna be install the new seat, the new upgraded steering system, and hopefully already installed the new tires and the whole night yards. Bye for now.